hairdressing and into something else, I'm not sure. Well, what do you want to do with your hair today? Okay, this is, it's really long, so. You like it a lot shorter I than like this? Lot, I wear a motorcycle and the wind is going to blow my hair so I can't, and if it's a little spiky and standing up. You don't care? I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I have a little bit of a part in it. Make you look pretty like she was. She was a. She was a trip. A trip, right? Yeah. So my um, wife might be down a little, a little later. Or to get her hair cut too? Yeah. Okay, she gets her, it short. She's, yeah. It's, well, I, do I recognize some kind of like New York or New Jersey accent or what am I? I'm from Alabama originally. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm only kidding. I'm from Rhode Island. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Alabama. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rhode Island. The biggest little state out there. Yeah. I've been through there a few times, just traveling north. Got like double crowns and cowlicks. Yeah, you got cowlicks ev everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Usually, when I find somebody, I keep coming back so they can get it all figured out after a while. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out right now. <laughs> Yeah, that woman was a trip. I wish I uh, had yeah. taken taken a video cutting her hair. Just <laughs> the stuff she was saying, that was funny. Yeah. Ooh, am I pretty, she said. Do you try to part it to the side or not yeah, when I you have, cut it? Uh, can you see a little? Yeah, kind part of right spot? there. Yeah, just kind of in there somewhere, a little part. Okay. And the, the the big thing is my front has a couple of cowlicks and makes it stand up anyway, and then riding the motorcycle just keeps it up. So. I just had a um, knee replacement. Oh, wow. Um, five weeks ago, so I, I just started riding my bike again yesterday. 
I haven't had a hit here. Five so. weeks and you're okay to walk and all that, obviously. Mm, yeah, I, I still have pain I'm dealing with and physical therapy, but I'm, I'm getting close. They said it could be two to three months. So what brought you down south? Um, originally, yeah, originally I just uh, had a buddy that wanted a roommate and yeah. I didn't have really much going on as far as no girlfriend and no, uh, no bills to speak yeah. of. So I saved up some money, packed up everything I could in my car and, and drove down. I couldn't even see out the back rear, yeah. rear view yeah. mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Funny, I got a job the first day I got here. Oh, really? But I didn't want to work right away. The guy's like, "Do you have, you have your stuff with you? You want to start right now?" And I, I had everything in my car, and I was like, "No." <laughs> I go, "No, I don't have anything with me." <laughs> Luckily, he didn't follow me outside. But uh, I ended up leaving there and heading back towards my house. But I didn't know where my house really was. Yeah. So I took a roundabout way, which led me back to 95 South. And uh, I needed gas, so I saw a sign that said gas, and it also said, uh, well, it didn't even say gas, it said dog track. And oh, uh, <laughs> I got off that exit, I filled up the car with gas, and then I left all my money in the car with all my belongings except $60. And uh, I was there like three races, and I had $24 left out of the 60 I had lost. Yeah. And I boxed my numbers in a trifecta, and I, I hit a try for like 1100 Oh, wow. So I, I cashed the ticket. I gave the guy that, um, I gave the guy that, so wrote, the that sold me the ticket $20, yeah. and I walked right out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Not many guys do that, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I got, I got some self-control when it comes to gambling. I grew, yeah. up, I grew up in a gambling family, unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I guess fortunately. Cause it taught me how to, yeah. what I don't want to do when I grow up, you know. <clears throat> but I, I still like gambling, but just with money that is extra, you know. Yeah. My main thing I do now is a fan, uh, a pretty big fantasy football league. Oh really? Yeah, that uh -huh. pretty much takes care of my gambling for the whole. Yeah, the whole. The thing, whole huh? season, yeah. right? So what do you do when you? got these football players that are getting dropped out. Um, you try to pick up somebody to take their place. Yeah. My One of my guys went down last week, the running back for uh, San Diego. His name is Ryan Matthews. Yeah. He, uh, he went down, so I picked up the guy that backs up Adrian Peterson um, last week when that was all going through. Yeah. And luckily, well, not luckily, but <laughs> for me, luckily, they, I guess, indefinitely suspended or whatever, yeah, Adrian yeah. Peterson now. So yeah. that guy's going to see a lot more playing time. Yeah. I'm actually going to put him in my lineup this this week. Yeah. <clears throat> I have a lot of friends that do that. Fantasy football. Yeah, it's fun. But anytime anyone's ever tried to explain it to me, I just can't track it, so... It's fairly simple. Yeah. You you know you pick you pick players, um, a defense and a kicker, and for and in most leagues, for every ten yards um, catch receiving or rushing, you get a point. Yeah. Every catch you get a point. If if you're in a points per reception league, which yeah. I am, yeah. And then um, six points for a touchdown, three points for a field goal. If your field goal is over 40 yards or something, yeah. it goes up to four or five. So you, you got more working than just the score for you. Oh, yeah. It's mostly just yeah. what the players are doing more than anything. Yeah, the score really doesn't doesn't matter much at all of the game. Yeah. Only that your players are doing anything regarding the score. <clears throat> yeah.
You want me to trim your eyebrows for you? Yeah, that probably would go with the haircut. Most of the time. I just like to ask some people. Yeah. I had one guy that I guess his brother died at a young age or something, and he was known for his eyebrows or something, so now oh, no, yeah. nobody in the family <laughs> cuts their eyebrows. I went near his eyebrows with the clipper, and <laughs> he, freaked, he freaked out. Yeah, so that trip to the dog track got me an extra, say, yeah, $1,000 to stop my life in Florida with on, like, you know, literally the first day I got here. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What part of Florida? I was in um, Miami Lakes, and I was oh, yeah. working yeah. in uh, Davie. Want to keep some sideburns or get rid of them? Just a hint. No problem.
Are there other barbers working in here? Yeah, uh, Geronimo's another barber here. If I'm never not here, he could take care of you. And um, that's it right now. The owner sometimes comes in um, mm -hmm. on Saturdays, but uh -huh. not every. And we'll, I think he's working on getting a few more barbers right now. So. Yeah. And what's your name? Brian. Brian. They call me Sully. My last name's Sullivan. Uh -huh. But I'm three quarters Irish. I mean Italian. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm the Irish dude. Yeah, Irish, okay. I won't hold that against you. I'm sorry. Time. What's that? The, the hot, the hot lather? Uh, yeah, that's nice. Bring you back to the 50s? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I travel a lot around the world. Okay. And so there's a few places I go into. You and know, they still do it? Yeah, they still do that.
Put down a little thing right there. What's going on, dude? How you been, bud? Good, good. Hanging in there? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like it. Been cool. Today's yeah. my birthday. Back in action. What colics? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. What colics? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Back in action. Everything okay up front? Yeah. All right. That'll go good on my motorcycle. That'll go good on the motorcycle. Just gotta watch out for the girls now. Oh yeah. They might start chasing you now. You got a little stick on your motorcycle with you? A little, a little stick. Oh yeah. The, to beat the, the stick to beat the girls beat off. off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that now? Just ten dollars. You're over 65? Have you? I'll give you the senior discount either way. Yeah. <laughs> Collect you got a five? Sure. We'll call it even. Let me get you two more. Hold on. G, you got two more? Actually, you got ten more? I think I got two five. Yep, then we're good. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank Have you. a good day, all right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Be good. Hey, how you doing, sir? All right. Can I help you? I'm just waiting on him. Okay, no problem.